Good afternoon, Colin here with Tech Out, and today we're going to be showing you guys how to enable some extra features on your Galaxy S24 Ultra, and even older Galaxies for that matter, and that is going to be customization of the side key, as well as the button on your S Pen. Um, so if we go ahead in here, um, this is something you're going to need good luck for. Um, a couple different modules here um, for a few of these different features. So the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need to go over to the life up and go to registrar right here um, if you don't already have it installed it'll be down on the bottom you can download it um, and good luck is available in the samsung app store not the play store so you need to go to the actual uh, galaxy app store and then right here on the bottom you can see an option for side key press and hold action and this enables a bunch of different stuff um, so you have take a take and share a screenshot and you can choose whether you share it or it just does a basic screenshot um, Access Google voice assistant. So if you don't want to have Bixby set to the side key You can do press and hold for Google voice assistant with the uh, good lock module Turn on or off flashlight. So for example, if we choose that and we hold it turns it on hold it again turns it off I use mine for um showing notifications just so I can press and hold it notifications drop down I don't have to reach up to the top of the phone to swipe um, you can show recent apps you can use it as a back button you can use it to open a certain app mute or unmute all volumes turn on or off live captions on or off auto rotate so a bunch of different stuff you can do with that um, now if you take away the Bixby button from that button or you use that for something else um, and you want to uh, be able to bring back uh, different double taps. If you download Routines Plus here, you can go over to your settings. Once you download Routines Plus, um, this is going to be in your regular settings and modes and routines. And then go over to Routines right here. And you can see here I have a few different ones. Um, I have some for the S Pen flashlight and I have the screenshot, which is double tap. So uh, you can do the press and hold via the registrar, and then you can do double tap via Routines Plus. And when you do that here, um, you can do different buttons. It doesn't have to be the side button. It can be the volume up or volume down button. Um, and that is with a double press or a press and hold. So you can also customize the volume ones as well. Obviously, I can't choose side and press and hold here because it's already taken in registrar. If you don't use register though, you can create kind of your own custom um, action here. And what it does, um, if we go to edit here, you can see uh, there's a bunch of different actions and everything like that that you can customize. Um, you know, turn on or off fast charging, all this kinds of stuff. Um, you can customize what you do with the button. So you can set press and hold in here as well, but if you just want to use it for like Google Assistant or something simple, a registrar is the place to find that. Um, and then right here, here's the different conditions we have. Um, these are grayed out because it's already set. Obviously, I'm just in edit. Um, so these are part of Routines Plus, the S Pen action, and the unlock with <coughs> fingerprint. Let's go to create a new one here, just so you can see what all the options are. Um, so unlock with fingerprint, button action, and S Pen action are all something you need Routines Plus for. Um, so I actually have mine unlock with fingerprint. Uh, if I unlock with this finger right here, my pointer finger, um, which is one I don't use just to regularly unlock my phone when I'm holding it. I usually use a thumb. It will open messages when the phone unlocks. So you can set different apps um, to your four different fingerprints set up, and you can have different apps or actions run when you unlock the phone with that fingerprint. So that's something pretty cool there. And then I actually have a um, one set up for my S Pen here. If I press and hold the S Pen button, the flashlight turns on. And then if I double tap it, the S Pen or the, the flashlight turns off. Um, so kind of useful if you want to be able to kind of remote control your flashlight. If you ever need to do that, you can do that with your Bluetooth S Pen. Obviously, you can also set that to some of those other actions as well. Um, but that's just one simple one I set up and I've just left it like that. So those are some cool things that you can do here in Good Lock on your Galaxy phone like your S24 Ultra, to customize your buttons and have shortcuts tied to your actual physical hardware buttons. I'm Colin with Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Have a great day.